Hello everyone and welcome to my course on Google Certified Educator Level 1. Now I have created step-by-step -step modules so that the teachers and educators get trained on how uh, to clear the Google Certified Educator Level 1 exam at the first attempt itself. So I have divided the exam in four modules. Uh, and in the first module, I will, I'll be covering up Gmail, Tasks, Drive, and Docs. In this particular video, we would focus on Gmail and we will learn, learn two, two aspects here. That is, how do you create new labels and assign the labels as well as look at Gmail search functions. So let's move on. We log in into the email. So that's my Gmail where I'm logged in. Now, if you see on the left hand side, you will see some links like inbox, start, snoozed. Now, what we'll be doing is we'll be creating a label. Now, a label is nothing but what you can term it as, as, as a folder. Now, so what I want to do is I want to put all my mails which have this word make my trip and what I would do is create a label for it. So if you see this last icon here, if I get to zoom, so if you can see that's the, the label link. Now clicking on that would open up a small pop-up. Now I don't have a label for make my trip so I'll just click on create new and provide a name. Now as soon as I do do that now I'm just not going to focus on nested under let's leave nest label under unchecked so I click on create. Now as soon as I click on create you would see that automatically a label is created here, make my trip, which didn't exist before. Now, to make it a little bit more attractive, click on these three dots and change the color to green. So you'll see you get a green label here on each of this email. Now, just to, uh, you know, rework on it again. Now let's create another label. Uh, like we have these emails of Prime Minister's office. So what we would do is first thing is select the appropriate mails, click on labels. We don't have that label existing here. So we'll click on create new. So I will select Prime Minister. Now, if you click on nested under, now we had already created a label in meet my trip. Now, if you want a sub label, under make my trip, you could select that, but I don't want to do that. I would just enter the name as prime minister. I'll click on create. Now, as soon as I click on create, you get this label icon here. Just click on this, change the color. And you have a different color for the label. Now, suppose by mistake, if you have put in a wrong label, you could always go on that email and if you see, if you see this uh, label color that's green if i un, if i click on this cross it deletes the label for that particular mail so it's a good way of organizing your emails uh, it's a it's an option which is not used by a lot of teachers so i would recommend it highly to you know practice it now moving forward to the second part of the video we would look at Searching the Gmails. So a lot of times it gets difficult to search mails, right? You uh, you have like thousands of emails in your inbox and it can get too overwhelming. So let's understand how we could search emails and what are the different ways you could search the mails. Now, as you see in this document, so you can filter mail by attachment, by labels, by keywords, search by sender, date and also the size okay so attachments labels keywords search by sender name date and size so let's see normally you're used to typing the keyword here directly 
but what we would do is we would click on the small triangle here. So what it does is it opens up detailed search options. Now suppose you want to find all the mails with the word make my trip. So you would just type that that keyword and click on search. So it gives you all the mails on make my trip. Now if, if you want to search all the mails by size or let's see okay size greater than 1 MB okay so all the mails which are greater than 1 MB this works really well because sometimes your inbox is full and you want to delete all the bigger size mails so you could probably have 10 MB or 100 MB type here so it works out pretty well so suppose I want to find all the mails greater than 1 MB I click on search so there's only one mail which is greater than 1 MB and if you see that's the shortcut so larger colon 1m so that is all the mails larger than 1mb so you could actually type the keyword here itself next step if you want to have all the mails find out all the mails which have attachments so we click on this click on search so you get all the mails which have attachment now if you want to find all the mails in last three days which have come to you or in last one week so all the mails which you have received in last one week and let's select a second filter with it which has attachment so we get that many emails okay now if you see So what mistake I did here was date within one week and I have to select one week of today, right? Suppose I want mails from one week, uh, a previous one week. So I have to give some kind of a start date here or an end date here. So suppose this is the end date. So week from a week that completes on that date. So when I click on search, Okay, so I've got no emails. Uh, I could probably select uh, Okay, so one month from this particular date. And you get all the mails. So you got all the mails which you received in span of that month. You know, so you have it so that's the date range so from 1st Jan 2020 to 2nd March 2020 you got all the mails filtered out for you you could also type the sender so from suppose make my trip so you could have the email ID typed here or if you wish to search by subject you can have subjects typed here or words like let's see if you have any email with the word help here so you've got a lot of mails which have that word help so that's a very easy for uh, easy option here you can search from sender search to whom you have sent mail to subject search by subject has the keywords doesn't have the keywords size which is greater than suppose you have you type in like we didn't have uh, so I'll type like 500 KB date range so start and the end you could just specify the date here search labels now this one we missed so suppose I want to search all the all the mails which are in label prime minister so I get that and here probably I could add another keyboard like size you know colon 1 MB you could do that also right? so so that's it that was a quick video on explaining you how you create new labels and assign the labels as well as how do you use 
the search functions. Remember, the search can happen by attachment, by labels, by keywords, by sender, date, and size. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next session.